Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. So today is Sunday, October the 9th, and um, we had in our area, at my local grocery store, Harris Teeter, a Super Doubles Blitz weekend, or we're having a Super Doubles Blitz weekend. For those of you who have joined me, you know what that means. If you're new to my channel, we'd love to have you around. If you hit that red subscribe button, you will always know what we're doing around here. But for those of you who are new, a Blitz, is when Harris Teeter will do, they will double, normally Harris Teeter doubles their 99 cents coupons, anything 99 cents or less, they double on a regular basis. When it's a super doubles, they double coupons up to $2. So my $2 coupons will double to $4. So they're having a three day blitz. Normally it's a week long. Sometimes they'll throw a blitz in every now and again but it's only for three days so this is the groceries that i was able to get these are the groceries i was able to get um, today and i want to share with you everything i got and the coupons that i use and how much i save so every week we just get toilet paper so i just got the angel soft that was on 149 regular price i got these plum organic applesauce pouches um, the kids like these. They were $3.99, buy one, get one free. So they ended up being like $1.99. I had a dollar off coupon that doubled to $2. So these items were free. Um, I got the green giant rice veggies, uh, cauliflower, and sweet potato. The kids and I are doing Weight Watchers, but we're also going lower carbs. Um, I'd love to get all fresh, but sometimes I have to get the bagged veggies, which I think is an okay compromise for right now. And so this uh, rice veggies, this cauliflower sweet potatoes was $3.29. I had a dollar off coupon that doubled to $2. So I paid $1.29 for each bag of these. And then I also got us some of the green giant veggie tots. These are the cauliflower potato tots or tater tots. Um, they were also $3.29 and I had a dollar off coupon. So they that doubled to $2 and this was $1.29. It was either $1.29 or $1.69. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, the next thing I had was the Pick Sweet uh, Farms. This is the steamable veggies. They had two bags. Buy one, get one free for $2.69. I had a dollar off of two, which made each bag 35 cents a piece. So I got um, green beans, edamame, broccoli, and I got a couple bags of Brussels sprouts. So that was a good deal of the day. I just picked up this little Genoa salami just as a treat when I'm needing something quick to throw in my mouth and I'm not wanting to eat carbs. This was $2.79 with a dollar off, dollar fifty off in-store coupon. So this ended up being a dollar twenty-nine. Um, the next thing I got with the Hillshire Farms, this is a snacking small plate. This was the uh, smoky bourbon. It just had like some beef jerky in the top and some cheese in the bottom. Alana ate this, but I still wanted to show it. So um, this was on sale two for five or two fifty a piece at a seventy five cents off coupon that doubled to a dollar fifty. So this was a dollar, and it was a really good little snack. It was up here you get the meat, and down here you get the cheese, and it says it's sixteen grams of protein. So she shared a couple pieces with me, and that was really good. Next thing I got was this Hormel's. This is a natural choice. Um, this is honey ham, white cheddar, and then it has dark chocolate pretzels. We do like to have some things on hand. Sometimes we just have to have things. And in my opinion, this is a little better than just having chips or crackers. Um, this was $1.50. I had a dollar off coupon that doubled to $1.50. At my grocery store, they do not do overages. So this gave me the exact price. I bought two of those and Jackson they already ate one. So they were free. Um, the blackberries were $3.99. They were evic today. So they were $0.99 cents, uh, package so I got three of those um, I probably fumbled on the spaghetti squash I read the sign wrong um, you know at Aldi you can get these for like a dollar and some change a piece so I saw 129 and I was thinking oh man that's awesome I don't have to go to Aldi they were a dollar 29 a pound so um, I pro probably $20 on the squash and it took about $8 off. So it ended up being like $13. But just for the two squash. I could have really um, monopolized that on that a little better. But I didn't want to go back and get a refund and all that. So this is going to be about four meals for us with the spaghetti squash. With that, I think I'm going to use 
This garlic and herb chicken breast, this is Johnsonville. This was $4.99 at $1.50 off coupon. It doubled to $3, so I paid $1.99 per bag. I think there's about three little chickens in there, but I can chop those up and use them with the spaghetti squash. I've got some Alfredo sauce, and I do also have some uh, diced tomatoes and tomato paste if I just want to make a, to a tomato-based sauce. So I got two bags of those, so I had two coupons. This was something that I saw. These were um, $3.99 at buy one, get one free. They're, they're steamable um, sweet potatoes. And so I figured, hey, we don't really eat sweet potatoes quite often, but maybe that's something we would like. I know there's carbs in sweet potatoes, but if we're gonna get carbs, I'd rather them come through our veggies. And so I'm thinking I'm gonna look for a low carb sweet potato souffle, or maybe I'll just um, steam them and we'll do a little bit of maybe some butter and some Truvia or something inside and, and cinnamon and just eat them that way. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do, but I will share the grocery haul with you after this. Um, wishbone. These were $2.99 on sale for buy one, get one free. So $1.50 at a 75 cents off coupon that doubled to $1.50. So all three of these were free. I got um, the Romano basil. I got light blue cheese and light ranch. And then lastly, I got these Well Yes soups. This is the hearty tomato with toasted barley soup. They had more carbs than I would have liked, but in a pinch, if I'm needing to just make something real quick for the kids, this would work. They were on sale, buy one, get one free. They were $2.99, buy one, get one free, so $1.50. And I had a 75 cents off coupon that doubled to $1.50. So these were free, these were free. Both of these were free and the plum organics were free. All in all, looking at my receipt, um, my manufacturer's coupons were $18, double coupons were $14.94, my VIC savings was $43.85, my total coupons was $76.79 for a total of 70% savings and my balance was $33.40. So not bad, um, really staying away from the process as much as we could, getting quite a few of the bagged or the frozen veggies. We did get some fruit. We have some apples and bananas still here from last week. And so between what I have here, what's in my fridge, my freezer, my pantry, I will show you my weekly menu plan. Okay, so I have done a lot of scratching over here of just writing down what I have in the fridge and the freezer. I think there's some things that I'm missing on here, but of course I sent Jackson out there to tell me what we had. Um, and this is just some other stuff, just some randomness. But I think what I'm going to do, I have two more days of Croctober left. So I think that I am going to do a chicken and rice casserole for tomorrow. I found a recipe. For chicken and rice casserole and I'm going to use um cauliflower rice here. To replace regular rice. Then I think for Tuesday cuz I'm going to do that in the crock pot, I'm going to do a ham chowder. And I think that'll be okay. For Wednesday, because we leave later for Taekwondo, but we get home later, I think I'm just gonna do cabbage and Brussels sprouts. With bacon, no meat, except the bacon that I'll do in the pan, same pan. And then, for Thursday, hmm, we have to leave earlier Thursday than we normally do. So I'm gonna do chili here. I have some pork that I got on Markdown. So I'm gonna do pork chili instead of turkey chili or chicken chili. And then Friday, I'm gonna do um, roasted chicken legs. and veggies here. And then for Saturday, I'm gonna do um, chicken Alfredo. And 
and I'm going to use the spaghetti squash. Not sure what I'll do Sunday, but Sunday will probably be just um, leftovers from the week. Normally, I probably will have chili left, roasted chicken. I'll probably have Thursday down as far as leftovers. We'll probably do the chicken and rice for my lunch Tuesday and the kids' lunches, and then I'll have ham chowder for lunch Wednesday. So whatever we have usually the day of, we'll have it for lunch the next day. So that's how we can pretty much make out with... Um, several meals out of our dinner meals so there it is this is our weekly menu plan monday is chicken and rice casserole in the crock pot this is crocktober tuesday is ham chowder crocktober wednesday starts november 1st so we'll do cabbage and brussels sprouts pork chili roasted chicken legs and veggies saturday's chicken alfredo with spaghetti squash sunday's leftover so that's our grocery haul and our weekly menu plan Thank you so much for stopping by our channel. If you like this video, grocery hauls, menu plans, give us a thumbs up. If you are new to our channel, hit the red subscribe button. We love to keep you as a part of our YouTube community. Also hit the bell, that way you never miss an upload from us. We're honored to have you stop by our kitchen. And until next time we shop, bye.